Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another reading through the New Testament as we try to make your weekdays strong days with the Word of God. Today we're in Romans chapter 5. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in our hope of sharing the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which was which has been given to us. While we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Why, one would hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man one would dare even to die, but God shows his love for us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Therefore, since we are now justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more now that we are reconciled shall we be saved by his life. Not only so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received our reconciliation. Therefore, as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men, because all men sinned, sin indeed was in the world before the law was given. But sin is not counted where there is no law. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sins were not like the transgression of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift in the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. And the free gift is not like the effect of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation, but the free gift following many trespasses brings justification. If because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. So then as one man's trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one man's act of righteousness leads to acquittal and life for all men. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, So by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Law came in to increase the trespass, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. So that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So in one of the chapters of this great book of Romans, Paul describes and Um, contrasting detail, the amazing superiority and great blessing that now that the grace that God has brought in Messiah now brings to us. And like he says in verse 20, grace abounds all the more. That when sin is increased, grace abounds all the more. That the more that man studies and recognizes in its historical timeline, even as the Israelites can recognize in their own, that when law came in, sin just continued to increase. But now that grace is here, when sin increases, grace abounds all the more. The lesson that we can learn from this small application is that the story of the gospel is to save everyone. It doesn't matter how intense the sin. It doesn't matter how prolific the sin. But when faith and repentance come to God for forgiveness, grace abounds all the more. I hope you've been encouraged today. And join me again for another reading tomorrow through the New Testament. 
making your weekdays strong days. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace. Where there is hatred, we will sow his love. Where there is injury, we will never judge. instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace. Instruments of peace.